Optimal Prime here, how's it going? Uh, yeah, it's finally dropped the update for the C64 Mini that allows you to play games directly from the, the USB with no messing about, apparently. Um, I've just downloaded the new uh, firmware for the C64 Mini that you stick on a USB from their website. I've added a bunch of random ROMs to the same USB and we're going to see how we get on. So uh, this is me doing this straight <laughs> for the first time ever. Let's, let's uh, see how it goes. Uh, here we go. A little bit dark because of the room I'm in, but uh, here we go. Um, I tried my USB stick and it didn't work. And I think it might have been because it was a 64 gig uh, USB stick because I've just moved house and I can't find anything. So I'm using my Transformers Ravage USB stick. So that's why the why the old C64 Mini's on a slant there. Right, anyway, that's neither here nor there. This is what you do. So as like with previous updates, you go to the settings icon in the bottom there. And then you go to system information. It says... Firmware update found, blah blah blah, Ben. Do you wish to upgrade to this firmware? You simply say apply. And it gives you this screen for a little bit and it just does what it does. This update's huge, by the way. It does more than just uh, allow you to add games. What I'll do is I'll uh, link the description, in, in the description, I'll link to the, the website where you get the updates and it gives you plenty of instructions there on what you can do and what they've done. And uh, they've been working hard and they've really come through as far as I can tell. So, uh, yeah, uh, the C64 Mini should reboot. There we go, I'll do, just turn the music off. Um, and now, if you notice, can you see, in the bottom here, there's a new icon, and it's the USB drive. Simply click on that, and there we are. I am at a a torrent with 6,000 odd uh, C64 ROMs on it. Um, ROM sites are making it harder, or, or companies are making it harder for ROM sites to hold ROMs. I'm not really sure if that applies to the C64 with being so old and stuff, but like the PlayStation Mini's coming out, the N64 Mini, and like loads of sites are no longer holding like NES and SNES ROMs and stuff. So um, I torrented these. Um, I've stuck a, a random number of sort of like maybe 200 on, a bit more. Um, and yeah, there we go. So and as, as far as I'm aware, um, all you get to do is like, so let's see if I can see what I recognise. Treasure Island Dizzy. Bit of the classics here. So click on that. Does it all for you? I'm so pleased. This is what I bought the C64 Mini for. I mean, the guys have done a great job. And Treasure Island Dizzy. Oh, so here we go. Ooh, I was so excited. <laughs> I have been playing my, my C64 Mini. No recently, um, and it is because getting different ROMs on it, it was a pain in the in the backside, to be honest. Um, virtual keyboard. Um, th this fix, this update also fixes things like um, USB compatibility, USB drivers and stuff, so a lot of the the um, controllers and keyboards that want to work in will um, probably work now. So F1, uh, F7 even. And there we go. Treasure Island Dizzy, easy as that. Um, yeah. I love this game. Now, each game, apparently, uh, I've heard, um, has its four own save states. So not only do you have to um, load the games individually, you can save them. Each one of them has got four save states, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and they're really sort of pulling out all the stops here. Uh, yeah, what more can I say? There is a fast load option. To turn fast load on and off, I know that, and it is as far as I'm aware. Yeah, down in the bottom corner here, can you see? Yeah, it's um, pressing the sort of third from the left uh, red button will turn fast load on and off. Um, yeah, so Samsara, oh, I love that game. So there we go. That's what we've been waiting for. We can now have a more convenient time with our C64 Mini. Um, I will link in the description. Um, to the website for the C64 Mini, or search the C64 Mini, um, and if I can find any decent ROM sites or ROM pages, I will link to those as well. Oh, there we are. Um, yeah, so happy C64 and dudes. Uh, see you later. Eesh.